Did you know that the number one objective that you have in your word of mouth business is getting people to speak positively on your behalf? This helps create some buzz. And one of the ways people can speak positively on your behalf is through testimonials. And that's what we want to talk about here today. Hi, I'm Tiffany Kellogg, and we do like to have testimonials from our clients. It's social proof, and there's so much that we can do with them. Though a lot of us find, you know, how can we get more testimonials? How can we capture more of those success stories? So over the next few minutes in this video, we're going to cover why aren't you getting more testimonials? And it's pretty common the reason most of us aren't getting those testimonials. The second thing we're going to cover is how are we going to make it super easy for our customers to give us those testimonials that say what we want them to say to help with point three in today's conversation how to get testimonials that will have your prospects begging to buy from you i think too often testimonials are fluffy and they don't really help us convince the the prospect to purchase and so we're going to make sure that all of our testimonials inspire our prospects to purchase and that's our conversation as we go through today, again, if you have questions, comments, concerns, please drop them here in the chat box. We look forward to hearing from you. The very first thing that we're going to look at is why you aren't getting more testimonials. Because oftentimes our clients have really great success stories. They, they share with us, here's how you've helped me. And it's, oh, great, can we get a testimonial? And they're like, yes. And then crickets. We were holding our breath waiting for those testimonials. I think we would still be holding our breath. Oh my. So part of the reason, a big reason that people aren't giving us the testimonials is just this analysis paralysis. People are like, uh, yes, I, I really want to do it, but they're not sure what to say. You may be somebody that's very comfortable writing or grabbing the, the video camera and giving a testimonial. Though what I found is most people are not. And so we really want to have that opportunity to make it easy for them, which leads me to point number two in today's conversation. How do we make it super easy for people to refer us? So here's the conversation that I like to have. If I'm talking to a client and they share their success, oh my gosh, uh, Tiffany, my business, when I first started the program, you know, we were in the red, been in the red since 2020, and now we're in the black. I'm like, ooh, what a great success story. You know, in 10 weeks of the program that you've been taking with me, you've been able to go from in the red to in the black. Perfect, let's capture that. And so that's my first question that I ask is, would you be okay with us capturing that, with us being able to, to get that in writing so that we can share that with others to inspire them to be a part of the program and to help promote you and your business? And when they say yes, because I actually have never had somebody say no. Uh, so when they say yes, I say, perfect, let me ask you a question. Would it be easier for you to either you write it out, kind of what you shared, and send it over to me and I'll take a look at it, or do you want me to write out what I believe I heard you say, send it to you, you can tweak it, make it your own, change anything that I've messed up, and then send it back to me? Which would be easier for you? <laughs> and what I love about this is, Sometimes people say, oh, I'll write it. Perfect. And I, I love that when people write it themselves, it has their own flavor to it. Uh, when I write it for them, it may have a little bit of Tiffany flavor. And I try and take their story exactly as they shared it. Um, but you know how it is. Sometimes we have our own style in our writing. So I'm, I'm good if you want to do it. However, I'm also good if you want me to write it for you because then I definitely know that we will hit the right points, which we'll talk about uh, in the next little part of our video. So I ask, which would be easier for you? you? Do you want me to write it for you? Or do you want to write it? And the reason I offer to send it to them and get the tweaks is they may have one or two words they want to change or they may change the whole thing. The beauty of having the written form that you send over is just that you've helped them get started. And so if they're in this position of analysis paralysis, you've got the words flowing and they can edit or make it completely their own. Like I've had some people, I sent them to testimonial, they said perfect as is, good to go. And then I've had other people that were like, oh yeah, here Tiffany, and I'm like the only words that are the same were and, and, and the. So it can, it can definitely go either way. Hey Patty, glad to have you with us. 
So, and, and great question from Janine. What if they send you the testimonial that they wrote and it doesn't say exactly the things that you want it to say? And we'll talk more in the next section about what we want it to say. However, if somebody sends you a message or sends you a testimonial and it's not perfect, you could say, hey, thank you so much. Always, always thank you. And then do a little bit of an edit. Say, hey, you know, I love how you shared this. Do you mind if we add in this or if we change the wording to that? And most people are going to be so fine with that because you do want to make sure that it's consistent with your branding, with your messaging. Now, if you want to take it up a notch, instead of saying, do you want to write it or do you want me to write it? You certainly ask, could we do this as a video? And I think that video, if I was given the choice between a written and a video testimonial, I would definitely go for the video testimonial because A, it's seen as social proof. So people are looking at it thinking, okay, yes, that did actually happen, there's a person. Plus B, then you can take the video testimonial, transcribe it, and then you've got the written testimonial as well. So kind of up to you which you prefer. I always, if I can get people on video, though I understand people don't always love to be on video, and I'll give you a hint, I don't like being on video sometimes too. However, here I am, Facebook Live. Uh, you can do with Zoom, you can record it on your phone. It's super easy nowadays, and I think it's a treat for somebody to have that video testimonial. So we talked about, okay, why aren't you getting more? Because of that analysis paralysis. How do we make it super easy for people to refer us? And the last thing that I wanna talk about is how do you get testimonials that will have your prospects begging to buy from you. <laughs> so a lot of times people will give you what I call fluffy testimonials. I love Tiffany. She's great. She's wonderful. Woohoo! And it doesn't necessarily tell us much at all about what you do or, or how you do it. And so when I'm asking for testimonials, I typically want it to be in a very simple three-part format. So we're going to take a look at where were you before the product or service, the product or service that you use, and where are you now? And those three components make it very simple for people to follow along. So as I mentioned earlier, I have a client that was sharing uh, that before she met me, she had been in the red for essentially since she opened her practice in 2020. I know it's hard when you've just opened a practice and, and COVID happened. And so she spent all of 2020 in the red. She was funding her business from her savings. She enrolled and then took the Incentives Ignite Your Business program. So we started in January. And by the end of the, the series, she's been able to get her business in the black. Plus a couple other things. So if I'm crafting this as a testimonial, the before would be, and let me tell you about my client who has a therapy practice. And she's been you know, working on her business for, for a couple of, uh, for a little while since 2020 and she's in the red and uh, things weren't going too good and she really almost felt like she was impossible to refer. Like nobody's referring me, so w what's going on? I, I just must be impossible, it's hopeless. And then we started the Ignite Your Business program and within that 10 weeks in the series, now she is running her business in the black and she's got a cleaning company that she has coming in on the weekly, so she's no longer cleaning your office, which we love. And in the past two weeks, she's gained nine referrals, which is almost more than she got in all of 2020. And so if you take the idea of the testimonial and put it in such a way that people are, you know, inspired to want to be a part of that, I think that's super crucial. And it will, it will help, and I mean, the flip's good, yay! So-and-so is great. However, if you can help show the results of what you're creating. I remember there was a personal trainer that my husband was using and all I kept hearing about him was, I'm so sore and I can't move my arms and I threw up during the workout. And I'm like, there is no way I'm going to this person because that does not sound like any fun whatsoever. However, eventually my husband talked me into going to, to see him and I, I up front was like, if I throw up, I'm never coming back again because I'm not like a professional athlete, you know, I was in my late 30s just trying to lose a couple of pounds. 
It worked out though, and I actually ended up losing about 10 pounds and working with him over a couple of months. And I'm like, you've got to really work on the people that are giving you testimonials. Because these other people, it was scaring me away. It was scaring people away. Are your testimonials inspiring people to want to, to work with you? Or are they a little scary? Using the three-part formula makes it super easy though. I understand you may have to coach your clients. Here's how I want you to, to talk about me. Here's how the experience is. And make sure you focus on number one, the benefits, and number two, the end results. How, how you got there may not always be a bit pretty process. It's what we get to at the end that's gonna be the most important component of the conversation. So, uh, I do have one more question from out there in our cyber world. Elaine wants to know, what if somebody that says they're gonna send you a testimonial doesn't send you a testimonial? Great question, Elaine. What I like to do is, if they say, Tiffany, I will write the testimonial for you, perfect. And when should I be on the lookout for that? If they say next Friday, brilliant, and then I put a note in my calendar for the following Monday to ensure that I've gotten that testimonial. And then if I haven't, I will do just a nice little nudge and say, hey, I haven't seen it yet. Could you resend? It's probably all somewhere in cyberspace. <laughs> so that's what we have for how to ask for testimonials from your customers. Oh, one bonus tip here. Don't ask during the process. Wait till the very end. Jason Avery from Avery Constructions built beautiful, uh, does remodeling for kitchen and bathrooms. And if you were to ask along the way, because it's never easy when your kitchen or your bathroom is completely torn and down from your house. So you don't want to ask then. And when you first see it, you're just getting settled. So he likes to ask for his customer testimonials a couple weeks following the job completion when people are able to enjoy that. So don't ask too soon for those testimonials. Make sure that people are waiting and ready for you. And if you're looking for more customers to give you more testimonials, I recommend you check out my Five Steps to Referral Success program. It's online, it's free. I'll put the information in the chat box and I look forward to seeing you next week. Uh, next week we are going to be talking about, I probably should have had this ready and out to go. Uh, next week we're gonna talk, how do you choose your target market? Uh, so if you're looking for more of those ideal playing clients, to hopefully give you the testimonials. Join us on Facebook Live. You can go to Tiffany, or if you're on facebook.com slash Tiffany Speaks slash events, you will see all of these little 10 to 15 minute Facebook Lives that we're doing. And we look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.